Okay, I'm doing section D for Max e-learning project. Okay, so I'll be talking about the Simpson rule. What is the Simpson rule? Okay, in numerical analysis, Simpson's rule is a method for numerical integration. The numerical approximation of uh, definite integrals. Simpson's rule is a way to approximate an area under a curve. This is relevant to doing an integral. So this is the formula for Simpson's rule. Okay, how do we apply the rule? Basically, we break up the area into thin vertical panels and add the area of the panels. The top of the panels may actually be various kinds of curves but are treated as they are snippets of parabola to derive the formula. Okay, comparing with the trapezoidal rule, Simpson rule requires an even number of scripts while trapezoidal rule does not have this restriction. Okay, and then the results derived from Simpson's rule are more accurate when compared to trapezoidal rules. Discuss its advantage and disadvantages. Okay, one of the advantages of the two formulas to calculate out the answer from the equation. One of the disadvantages is that there is a if there's a calculation error, right, the whole answer will be wrong. Okay, uh, we'll be explaining tutorial for question 2 on how Simpson rule works. Okay, we are given this equation and also n. n is the number of uh, strips that we have in la, okay? So first we find h, which is actually the interval of the strips, which is a, a b minus a over n. You get uh, 0.125 and you add n to Okay, by summing these values into this equation, you can plot out this table. After that, you use all that, uh, the derived table, you sub them inside the Simpson's rule, and then you derive this answer 1.111. One, 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 one. Okay, same goes for question B. You're given this equation and also n. Then we find h b minus a over n. You get h. With this, you are able to compound this table, subbing in all these values into here. Okay, and then after you use all these values into the Simpson's rule and you apply get 1.187 Okay, question C is a bit different As you can see uh, B and A is not doesn't start from 0 so this, this two actually represent the starting at any point of the table here and here Okay, so it's given that N equals to 6 so we find H D minus A over 6 you get H then you sum in all this value into the equation, plot your table, then you apply those numbers into the system's rule, and you get 0.1187. 